Hi, I'm making a video for the uh, TFD Supplies uh, gift card to get uh, 50 earbuds for free for my classroom. Uh, tell us about yourself. Well, my name is uh, Jason O'Leary. I teach at New Horizons High School in Pasco, Washington. Uh, I am a classroom teacher, and I also do virtual uh, classroom. So I have two in-person classrooms and one online virtual classroom. Uh, classroom. We have a split school. We actually do run three different pro programs here. Uh, we have a uh, certification program where kids go work with the local community college and when they graduate from high school they'll have a tech certification. Uh, we have a uh, alternative high school that helps uh, credit deficient students uh, complete through uh, to get their diploma uh, up to the age of 21. And then we also have uh, our virtual high school, which is the virtual high school for the Pasco School District. Um, I've already said where we're loaded, but we're located in Pasco, Washington. Um, and this is the beginning of my sixth year here, um, six year total teaching. It's the only, only teaching job I've ever had. Question number two, why education? Uh, it goes back to when I was in high school. I had a really great teacher and a really bad teacher. I wanted to uh, counterbalance those bad teachers. Um, both were history teachers. One had pretty much given up. Uh, the other one uh, was relatively new and really energetic and really inspiring. So I wanted to uh, follow in her footsteps. If you could have any other job, what would it be and why? Um, either a counselor or an administrator within the school district still. Um, I help our building counselor out a lot. Uh, I really like working with the credit kids' credits, helping them try and figure out what to do to graduate. It's really inspiring sometimes to see these kids who thought they couldn't graduate um, actually realize they could graduate even sooner than they thought they could in some cases. Um, how are kids different now than 30 years ago? Well, 30 years ago, I was a kid. So um, the biggest thing I, said, I think is technology. Uh, 30 years ago, I would have been nine years old. At nine years old, we didn't even have a computer in our household. Um, nowadays, kids have computers in their pockets. I'm not saying this is a bad thing. I think it's actually a good thing. Um, the issue is, is getting the kids to learn how to properly use that technology so that it doesn't uh, uh, disrupt their way of thinking for themselves. Uh, so many, you know, even, even back when I was a kid through magazines and stuff, there was the lemmings effect, uh, magazines and newspapers. And now it's so much easier to cause the lemmings effect of getting people to follow you for the wrong reasons or to believe in you for the wrong reasons. Uh, sorry for all the updates the district is trying to push in my computer right now. That's what those pings are you hear. Uh, is teaching different now than 30 years ago? Ah, oh, that's a, I, you know, uh, again, you know, even in my school, uh, when I was nine, we had one computer lab with 30 computers. Um, most were DOS-based. We had to put a, uh, a boot disk into them. Uh, and hoped that they booted properly, that that disk hadn't gotten corrupted. Um, so I'd say technology is definitely the biggest change with education. Um, I remember overhead projectors, um, these V wipers on those little plastic sheets, uh, the audio visual carts. Uh, we, we don't need those anymore. We just have the kids open up their computers, use the headphones I'm going to get from you, uh, to watch their videos, uh, and then go from there. Tell someone right now that is thinking of becoming a teacher. Do it. Absolutely. It's, um, especially in my particular position at Alternative High School, it's one of the most inspiring jobs um, out there. Um, I get to tell the kids my personal life stories and hope that it encourages them to do something. Uh, just two days ago uh, was our first day of school for the 20, 2021 22 school year. And I was telling that my educational story, how I became a teacher, and one of the students reached out to me after class and said that uh, they weren't sure they were going to make it this year, that they were just going to kind of go through the motions the next week or so and then drop out. And uh, me showing through my own personal uh, issues with uh, school that uh, if I could do it, they can do it, and that they're going to try and uh, persevere through the year. Uh, that particular student is also pregnant right now. Um, so to have convinced a uh, soon-to-be mom to stay in school, that's a, a huge thing for me. Um, 
that goes back to that question. Actually, <laughs> you know, uh, get into teaching. These kids will inspire you every day uh, as you inspire them. What is one thing you would change to help kids learn better? Uh, oh, where can I begin? Let's start with the schedules they're given. Uh, they're, they're not going to be working necessarily nine to five jobs out once they graduate high school. Why are we making them work um, a nine to five education um, or a 7.30 to 2.30 or an 8 to 3.30 um, education? Uh, let the kids pick their schedules for themselves. Get teachers, high school teachers especially, into the buildings from as early as 7 to as late as 9 p.m. If colleges can do it, why can't high schools? Uh, yes, it increases the number of teachers that need to be hired, but you know what? I'm, I'm all for that. Just like the previous question, why should we become teachers? Because we need them. Let's, let's increase the demand for teachers along with teacher pay. Um, and let's increase the availability for students who, you know, maybe they were, they're agricultural workers. They have to work in the mornings, uh, early mornings. Let them come to school in the afternoons or evenings. Um, why limit them to this one chunk of time during the day? Um, that's that's one thing I would work on is I'd work on the availability of education. Thankfully, through our virtual program, um, while we're still trying to encourage kids to show up to the Zoom meetings every day at the same time, uh, the learning itself can happen anytime. We're calling it, lights are turning off, let's fix that there. We're calling it uh, asynchronous learning. So synchronous is when they're on Zoom with me. Asynchronous is when they're off Zoom. So let's increase that asynchronous learning opportunity for these kids. All right. Uh, I'm going to save this off. I'll upload it to YouTube. And uh, y'all will see it here in a few moments. So thank you very much.